Thanks to Kutaro, the shattered white moonstone was coming together piece by piece. Meanwhile, the witch, Esma Potts, who apparently had no qualms about holing up in another person's house, stood before Castle Waxwain's towering portrait of the moon goddess and said, Just you wait! Soon I will be the goddess! And the smile playing on her hideous lips gave way to a chilling laugh. Monkey, where are you? Revisibilate yourself. You're my lord at once. How could you fail me? You, of all my generals. Your mistakes have cost me the upper hand. If he gets the rest of the White Moonstone, and he has Calibras. Oh, wait. I know who it is. Bully Gudaro's tree. What? Who? Tell me. Witch! Esma Potts! Potts? That hag from the kitchen? She is at the White Castle, guiding Kudaro from there. That's what she thinks! I'll destroy them both! A bit and a petir. But how, sire? Simple. The clock tower in the land of time. Pick up, you useless pups! What are you waiting for? Yes, sir! Oh, nothing like a spot of Copernican Artemisia to pass the afternoon. Yes, I can't tell whether it's the smooth, herbaceous flavor or the distinctive biscuity nose, but something about it does tickle my fancy. Who calls during tea time? No manners at all! Oh, uh, please, excuse me. A rabbit and a rooster's never ending tea party? Say again? Moon Barky? <gasps> Sire, Lord Master, yes, hello. I have a cue and the chicken taken over the land of time. That clock should have been fixed ages ago. <laughs> My word, Tempest Fugit. <laughs> Has it been three years? Time is running out, and you were supposed to catch it! <laughs> Never you fear your ISness, it is under control! That's right! We'll have that chronopoly for you in a macro jiffy! Move it! I want that clock to get <laughs> me right now! Oh, la 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 la! <laughs> Late, late, I am late! He looks shady. Let's tail him. Everyone and everything in the land of time was zipping along at a blistering pace. It was almost as if someone had put ants in the past. And then all of a sudden the ants were all blotted. Even the buildings lining the street were recombobulating at breakneck speed. Their heights oh, changing no, no, no. like and rippling waves. Late, late, late. Hold it, Buster. You work for the Moonbear King. Yes. Stop distracting me, or he'll have my head! Well, that proves it! Come on! He's got a piece of the Moonstone! Conquer the land of time, post haste! Oh, don't scare me! I see a room over on the right. Okay, let's try that again. But this time, just made it! Oh, look out! Whew, safe. 
Even the chimney sweepings seem to be chronologically in pairs. What a dumbness to the land of time. What should have been running like clockwork had been reduced to running in circles. The clock! I must fix the clock! Jump! Again! Uh-oh! We're out of buildings! Who needs your rooftops when you have the playing cards? Demand, I shall traverse these precarious cards atop a unicycle. An enormous chimney loomed before, and a deluxe sized chimney brush to match. Glad this isn't my house. Kutaro's search for General Rabbit had turned into a wild hopscotch across the land of time's rooftops. The flow of time has a pronounced effect on any city's skyline, as the past is dismantled, the present constructed, and the future imagined. <laughs> Dreams and aspirations become the girders upon which life is built and rebuilt in the name of progress. It just usually happens a lot slower. Like everything else around here, the shooting stars weren't exactly shooting straight. They'd lance across the sky one moment, only to stop dead in their tracks the next. Of course, it made it much easier to wish upon them. <laughs> you could probably sneak in multiple wishes. The locals were true romantics, peering through their telescopes and trying to count the stars as they blinked by, which took patience with all this chimney smoke in the way. Like everything else around here, the layout of a house changes to its appropriate form with the passage of time. The larger the number of your family, the greater the number of rooms in your house. Then, of course, you no longer need the rooms if you no longer have your family. The house is too big. Without a family? What... What was wrong with me? What happened to you? Actually, I don't really want to hear that.
The land of time had an old and well-established observatory where time was closely watched, a calendar devised, and the stars stood around to make it all work. A gravity magnetational temporal spatial anomaly. Yes, uh, this all seems correct. And all. Right on schedule. Un, deux, trois, et voilà! Wow! Into the wormhole and on to the Alcyon past. That hocus pocus loony! Don't let him get away! Time was a bit funny in here, but General Rabbit's highway of playing cards let him quite literally pass the hours. Hey, why are you stalking me? Don't play dumb. We're gonna beat you up and take back your Moonstone Shard. Follow that rabbit! I thought diamonds were a girl's best friend. A fair weather friend, maybe. The game would not start until Kutaro cut the deck. Bit by bit, sand drained into the hourglass. It was the future slipping away, piling up to form the past. Waiting is unfortunately part of the game, but a good card shark uses that time to plan his next move. What? You again? I am far too busy for this harassment. I have history to rewind, a land to conquer. Excusez-moi. Hey, get back here! Face Kataro fair and square! Our hero soon encountered everyone's favorite card trick, the buzzsaw. That's not a card trick! Kuturo laid all his cards on the table. This was it. A fine hat-trick for Kutaro! This is our stop! Would you stop interfering? I have to go back three old years before I can fix that blasted clock! The ace trumps all, especially when it's five aces of spades. That's cheating! Kutaro hopped over the questionable hand and scrambled ever higher. Hurry up! It's fold or be folded! Thank 
gentlemen. The wait is over. Monsieur Lapin's magic show is about to begin. First, flip a car. Any car. Cards! Stop trying to peek backstage! That rope looks ready to snap! Uh, behold this box! And now, the Flying Daggers! Sleep again! Now, let us cut the deck! Just one tap of this ordinary topic and presto slido. Voila! Hold this. What's this for again? And again! and all the moon shall obey by every command! Now, dear, the witch has finally cracked. Aha! Me buxom beauty Esma pots. How ye shiver me timbers when you dance like that. Maybe we all have. Cotterell, 
find those last pieces, I'll start a sign you supper and make room for me! <laughs> With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. Our hero's rabbit chase led him deep into the chrono-illogical land of time. Meanwhile, the Moonbear King was on to the witch, whose own dark intentions still hung on the air. <laughs>